What is going on guys? Merry Christmas. It is December 25th, 2018 and we're doing something a little bit different today. We're not going riding, but rather we are going snowboarding. So it should be a lot of fun. I haven't went snowboarding since uh, I think about 2006 when I was a sophomore in high school before I dislocated my shoulders and had those issues. So um, it's going to be quite an experience. I don't know if I remember how to do it all that well or anything, but I have my board from long ago. So um, all of my ski gear is pretty old because even when I got it, it was second hand. But um, like I'm wearing Oakley air brakes and stuff. So um, we're on the way to pick up Daddy Dio as well as my sister. Allison's here she's finishing up some of her makeup but um, um she's not gonna be snowboarding just my sister my dad and myself so it should be a lot of fun I don't know exactly what I'm gonna be showing you guys because I don't want to interrupt my dad's um, day of snowboarding to film for me but it should be a lot of fun I've had people ask me about it for a long time not recently but um, just living in Colorado of course it's a big thing to be a snowboarder so um, Fingers crossed we have some fun today, and um, slope should be pretty dead since it is Christmas morning. The roads are already pretty dead, so um, we will catch up with you guys here in a bit. Quick fuel stop. That's my dad's board, my board. Then my sister actually has a nice board. Mine was like a second hand we got on eBay, and or uh, Craigslist or something. My dad got his on eBay, and then my sister actually has like a nice snowboard because she snowboards the most out of all of us. But uh, yeah, so we got the truck all loaded up, filling up with gas before we get on the road. We're heading up to Copper Mountain, which is like an hour and a half from where we are in Denver. But um, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm kind of nervous just because my the herniated discs with my shoulder and arm. It's been hurting a lot, but um, I think it'll be a lot of fun. And um, when I had the ACL stuff, they said like I want to be able to snowboard or ski or anything. So um, we'll see how that goes, <laughs> but i um, just excited to get up there and try it out. We're all loaded up here. We got my sister, which I'm sure you guys have never seen before, Tanya, Daddy Dio, Allison, and myself, and we're just on I-70, heading up to Copper Mountain, just flying on up, doing 85 up there. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun up there. My dad hasn't snowboarded. He snowboarded more recently than me, but it's still been a while, I'm pretty sure. And I think my sister probably snowboarded, what, last year or something? A couple of years. Just a couple of years, so. Uh, it will be a good time for all of us to get back on the slopes. Just got to the free parking lot, so everyone's just uh, getting unloaded and stuff. Then we'll hop on the shuttle and take it to the actual village and mountain. But um, pretty cold out here, probably like 10, 15 degrees, something like that, as you'd expect at a ski resort. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. first time I can tell you this is killing my knee pushing with my left knee which is the knee I don't have an ACL and hurts but hopefully on the board it's not so bad so we're getting on the lift for the first run of the day and uh, it's crazy it's kind of weird the, the lift guy over there is talking to me he's like oh fox jack and he's like I saw your Oakley air brakes and your Geico beanie and like that dude's repping so we talked a little bit of motocross which was cool but I don't have ski gear all I have is moto stuff <laughs> This is awesome, it's been so long. Even just being on the lift is Oh, we're damn near pro. Wow, that went smoother than I thought. I was sure I was gonna eat it right off the lift. Off to a good start. purposefully leaned away and let you fall. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, we're damn near pro. Wow. All right, we are strapped in. I don't know how this is going to go, but it should be fun. Just 
just like riding a bike. He's looking good. Been a ton of years. That's me. <laughs> Not Daniel, so I'll probably crash. Daddy Dio's killing it. <laughs> so uh, the cold is making the GoPro da batteries die quickly. So I don't know how much footage I'll have for you guys, but um, pretty cool, pretty cool area here. So we're just jumping in, going straight down a blue. We don't need any of those green. So this could be good. This could be bad. It's pretty, yeah, I wouldn't say pretty steep, but it's steep enough. There's Tanya, go for it. I didn't know she was behind us. Yeah, she had stopped to wait for us to go. Yeah, I'll have to go a lot slower than that. <laughs> yeah, nothing wrong with that. I hate it. Slipped out. <laughs> Snowboarding is hard. Comes right back, but uh, I'm like leafing down the hill and the board starts chattering, then I just fall on my back and then. I was just telling my sister and dad to get up. I'm like struggling, I'll, I'll sit up and then I'll like fall back on my butt. Like I'm not getting my balance to start going, so. But we're only like 200 yards down our first run and I'm already tired, so this is awesome, but it's a lot of fun. So I think we're gonna go rip it up some more. <laughs> You're right, I didn't wear my goggles on the first run. They were kind of snowbound, but um, put them on this time, so. We'll see. Uh, obviously, they're not made for the snow, so they're not perfect, but better than nothing. So hopefully this run will be better. I'm going to put you guys in the chesty, even though I'm going down the hill this way. Hopefully the chesty will still get some cool stuff. Yeah. My binding was loose. Did it go? Was I on? Yep. Okay, good. So my issue still is I go to leaf, which is having your board like this, and I start to chatter, and then I just fall on my butt. But I'm sure my sister got I some didn't awesome fall clips. On my butt, though. Yeah, she's filming me, and she's just <laughs> killing it. So we'll have to follow her some until we crash. But killing it, it's fun out. Here. She's flying. She can't keep up with her. That's one thing. If I had a helmet for skiing and snowboarding, I would have stripped my lip pro too. And I think it'd be really interesting to see the speeds we hit on it. But um, obviously I don't have a helmet. I probably should, but I don't. <laughs> so I don't have my lip pro, but 
Maybe this is something I do in the future. We can do it. <laughs> Are you embarrassed to be seen with us? Absolutely. <laughs> I would be too. 100%. <laughs> Daddy Dio, how are you liking being on the slopes again? Oh, it's totally cool. I'm loving it. It's, it's coming back. <laughs> Definitely. Challenging, tough, different muscle groups than riding your dirt bike, but all in all, super good time having a blast. You might notice I'm just kind of hitting the same run over and over. One of the other lifts that's close to us actually isn't running today for some reason. And then um, I guess the, I'm no professional or whatever, I hardly come, but uh, my sister and dad are saying that these runs are kind of icy just compared to, you know, up top and of course the bulls and stuff, but still a good time and uh, just kind of sticking to it with, with, with what we know, like I like to do, so. Pretty, pretty awesome up here, was I, it? I do want to point out that Daniel missed the turn off into the, the, into super the half, pipe. half pipe again. Yeah. yeah, Copper has a bunch of terrain parks and uh, right next to us is the super pipe and obviously you can't really see anything from here, but every once in a while you'll see someone pop out and do a 360 or whatever, it's pretty wicked. But um, I don't think I'm quite on the level of even going to the smaller train park and definitely not the super pipe. So I think we'll keep it on, uh, keep it on the ground today. Time. Of course, everyone's getting lunch right now, so it's pretty busy here at the lodge, but definitely worn out in need of a break. That's for darn sure. Here's what $33 of ski food looks like. Fries, root beer, chicken tenders, grilled cheese. 33 bucks. And the lift tickets were like $158 each, but my dad paid for those, but holy cow. That's it. We're on a different lift now. We came up the first lift, and now we're going higher up the mountain to hit some different blues. Uh, my dad and sister already went up this one, but I, I was taking a break when they did it. So they said some of the runs are pretty difficult up here, even though they're blues. They're just uh, higher level blues, but a little bit more powder and uh, uh, not so much ice up here. So coming up here to try these out, but I did just switch to my last GoPro battery. So not sure how much longer that'll be lasting for us, but um, it's like 1.30 now, the lift stopped running at four. So we're gonna make the whole day out of it and run uh, as long as we can. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I think I did. Yep. <laughs> your calves running across on your toe side it's constantly doing like a calf raise so tiring Why not? so sick <laughs> Here. 
bit of air, maybe three feet of air that time, right? You point dynamite. You got like three feet of air that time. Of course, I don't know how much of this footage I'm going to use. I don't know how exciting me just going down the hill is. But I really don't want to take away from my dad's day of snowboarding by asking him to film a bunch like at the track. I'm sure you guys understand. You know, he paid a full price lift ticket. He wants to be having his fun out here. Oh. Ah. He wants to be having his fun out here too. So, um, just kind of sticking to ourselves here filming. But, uh, man, lots of fun. Really tiring. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be something I start doing all the time, but Allison has shown a little bit of interest, so maybe we'll get her some lessons and do it. But uh, it's really expensive. But if it's a nice weekend, I'd rather be on the dirt bike, but it's a lot of fun being up here with my sister and my dad. But uh, I guess we should get back going. <laughs> edge on a sleep, sleep, steep slope just tears me up. This is cold. Luckily it's not too bad on my ACL. First off the bat just pushing with my leg off the board. That hurt a bit. But uh, snowboarding isn't too bad. Skiing with uh, you know of course having a ski on each foot I think that would kill it. I think that would hurt a lot. But um, I am wearing like a brace, not like in a Cherubis knee brace, nothing like that, or asterisk. I didn't mean a Cherubis, asterisk knee brace. But I am just wearing a cloth knee brace to help hold it all together. Coming in our final approach here in Juice Center Village. Very nice, that was a nice long run. That was a pretty tough run. I'm just here waiting for them to get down the mountain, but um, they might have, my dad might have struggled some with that one. It was pretty, pretty tough, pretty steep, but uh, hopefully he's just having a good time coming down. <laughs> But next run might be the last one that I record. And I might ask my dad to go like halfway down the run and then get the GoPro and then film me going fast or something. Just to give you guys a little bit more footage. But um, hopefully you're enjoying the, the day on the slope. It's just something totally different from me. Um, even for me, it's something totally different. But pretty, pretty epic to be out here. Thank you. Easy. Yeah. Woo. Tying up probably one of our last runs of the day now, recording on my phone, but uh, just ripping down the trail. Really fun out here. We are all loaded up back in the truck, changed out of course and everything, so um, it was a really good day. Did you guys both enjoy? Totally oh, awesome. It was such a kick in the tail. I loved it. <laughs> yeah. It was worth it for sure. <laughs> definitely. Lots of fun. Um, definitely something that I'd like to do a bit more. Allison had kind of mentioned that uh, she might be interested in getting some lessons and doing it, so um, maybe 2019, like January or maybe 2019 
around to November or <laughs> December or something. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But um, not something that I'm going to be doing like every weekend or anything, of course. But it was fun to get out here for the first time in a long time. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed something different. Uh, thanks to my sister for getting some footage for me. I think uh, Dad did get some as well. But um, yeah, so they helped out with uh, the video and stuff. But hopefully we're, we were able to put together something cool and just um, something enjoyable for you guys. So um, yeah, I hope you had an awesome Christmas. Merry Christmas and um, going into the new year. Hope you have a wonderful new year. And um, obviously I'll talk to you guys soon. So as always, until next time, take it easy. If it's easy, take it twice. We'll talk to you later.